Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is a pretty easy little project. We're going to be making a live edge charcuterie board out of a piece of black walnut. We picked this up off of Facebook Marketplace earlier in the year when we made our herb stripper, which I'll leave a link for that above. But it's an easy project. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'll take you along the process and the steps that I'm going to do to create it. So let's get started. The wood already has a nice naturally rounded edge, so I'm going to use this end and cut it to size. Now to smooth out the surface, to start with, we are going to plane it out. We're going to use a 12 inch portable planer that I got from my parents' house last year. I'll be going for that video. This is a longer process because you're going to make small incremental changes to the height of the planer and just take a little bit off every single time. few other tools to uh, finish out this project. We're gonna need a drill with a circular drill bit. This is a two and a half inch drill bit that I use for making holes in doors for doorknobs. And then we have a mouse sander with a variety of different uh, grit sandpapers and then a hand sander for finishing off with fine sanding. Not shown but also needed is gonna be a belt sander for shaping. Now for creating the handle, we do have some very sophisticated tools that we're going to be using. First off, we're going to be using a red solo cup to create the end of the handle, the circular end. And then we're going to be using the ever popular Menards or Home Depot bucket, whichever you have available, to create the arch of the handle itself. Now in the center of the solo cup circle, we're going to be using our two and a half inch doorknob cutter to drill a hole. And then our jigsaw to cut out the rest of the handle. Now to do the initial shaping and sanding of the charcuterie board, we're going to be using a mouse sander with an 80 grit sandpaper. It was at this point in the sanding process, before I made the lines for the handle all disappear, I should probably finish shaping it. So I'm gonna bust up the belt sander and finish shaping the handle. Now we're back at it with the 80 grit. all the rough edges sanded out and it's all shaped we're going to up the grit to 120 grit and start the actual finishing process Now we're moving on to 220 grit sandpaper. And now finally with the palm sander we're moving on to 320 grit. Now for the final sanding, we have our hand sander that we are going to be using 400 grit sandpaper. See what I'm making? I'm making this 
fourth mama. What's that board for? For Mama. Okay, when are we going to give it to her? On uh, Mother's Day. Now once I started wiping everything off, I came to realize that there were still some rough edges in here. And what I wanted to do is smooth those out completely. So I didn't end up recording it, but I took it back outside after I cleaned it up and started at the 320 grit sandpaper again, sanded it down, to rinsed it off, went back to the 400 grit and finished it. Now to finish it off and seal it, we're going to be using this Lancaster cast iron wood wax. It's going to be a beeswax and mineral oil mix. We're going to put this on liberally all over the, and let it sit for about four hours. Once it's all done, we'll wipe it completely clean and buff it up a little bit and that should be it. The wax is absorbed, the board's all cleaned up, and I think it turned out perfectly. It is exactly what I was looking for. It turned out the exact color I was hoping it would, and everything is smooth and finished perfectly. Now we went on to Etsy and picked up these knives to accompany it. I'll leave a link for that in the description below. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. But that's going to be it for us today, guys. The last thing for us to do is for the boys to give it to our Mother's Day. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon. Happy Mother's Day, Mama. Good job.